Next example is the printed circuit board thermal analysis. Again, from the from this picture, you can guess that this model could be constructed using extrusion. The, the circuit board carries uh, several uh, circuit elements. Each element features its own thermal losses. There is the main processor, and the main processor losses are 2.5 watts. There are capacitors, and the capacitors losses are 0 0.15 watts. There is the transformer, the diode, the coil, and other capacitors, and there is the integrated circuit. Again, our task is to calculate the temperature distribution. I will start quick field and show you the problem formulation. Again, this is the steady state heat transfer problem and the model class is three dimensional extrusion. Now let's take a look at the geometry model. You may guess again that this geometry was not created in quick field. I imported it from DXF file. And for each object, I assign levels. Now the circuit board itself has two levels, 0 and 2 millimeters. So it, the thickness of this board is 2 millimeters. The processor, not, not the processor, this block has three levels. From 0 to 2 millimeters, it's the board, the circuit board, and from 2 to 6, it's the processor unit. And the same principle for other elements. For example, for this capacitor, there are three levels. From 0 to 2, it's the circuit board, and from 2 to 19, it's the capacitor. Now let's switch to the three-dimensional view. This is how the geometry model looks like after extrusion. Again, you should assign labels in this, in the three-dimensional view. You should select the object and type in the body, the body name. Select next object and type in the body name. Then for each body you should Specify the thermal conductivity, and if if there is any, you should specify the heat losses, the heat parsers. Now this this model is already the geometry model is already labeled. I will show you what components we have here. This is. This is the board itself. It has low thermal conductivity and there are no thermal losses. This is the processor unit. It has thermal conductivity of 1 and there are some losses in fact, there are 2.5 watts generated in the processor unit. And you can see, I should specify here the 
volume power density. So I should divide the power by the volume. This is the volume of the processor. And the same for other units. This is the diet. Integrated circuit board. Integrated circuit. The coil. The transistors, there are four transistors, and transistors are attached to the radiator. This is the radiator. There are no losses in the radiator, and the radiator features high thermal conductivity. And the circuit board is cooled by the air. So on the entire surface, I specified the convection coefficient. I specified zero temperature, so the result is the overheating of the board. Now let's take a look at the simulation results. This is the temperature distribution in the circuit board elements. From this temperature distribution you may guess which elements are overheated, where you should where you should add the radiator. I believe the processor unit needs the radiator. And perhaps you can add the fan to increase the convection. And you can take a look inside. 